71 total this year, now third in the Southeastern Conference. So McDaniel's first pitch to the super talented freshman center fielder. See, I'll tell you what it does. It gives you true freshman hitting first and third in this Ole Miss lineup. And look at Bradfield cover some ground. And Bradfield have all had big time seasons their first time through this league. Here's on the year. That one caught him on the foot. Gloved at second base. Gloved at second base. Nice grab by Tate Colwick. The 3-1. That ball's laced right past Chatnye out into right field. Stop it. That a little bit. Oh, they're going to give him the strike. Spencer Jones can't believe it. You see out at second base, Parker Nolan's kind of wondering what the heck that was. Oh, wow. KP. Scott Kennedy's one of the bus. It wasn't, I, I didn't bring it up. That ball's hit just past the shortstop, Gonzalez. That was well done, dragging me into the ditch with you, though. That... Slaps the 91 mile an hour fastball out to left, so the extra swing pays off for Enrique, and it's two on and one down. Throw back to second, sails away. That'll get out to center field. McCants' throw to third is not in time. Throw back to third. They let Bradfield get down to second. First time against McDaniel. Line, base hit back up the middle. They're going to wave Bradfield. No throw from McCants, and Vanderbilt will take a 2 to nothing lead on the RBI single from Dominic Keegan. I got a first pitch slider and got enough of it. Nice job by Keegan to really. Blistered out to left, but Kevin Graham there to make the catch. Big small college baseball for working with him as a kid. It's McCants will start things with a base hit to right as the lineup has flipped over here and to claim the title in a crazy game. A four-pitch walk, and now they're loaded. That ball is blistered off the wall. The play at the plate, not in time, and two runs will score. Like he got a slider, that one just hangs on the inside part of the plate and off the bat, I think Bench thought he got it. He got a lot of it, didn't quite get enough to hit it beyond that left field fence, but still enough to score two runs with one out. Can't go on the swing. Got to wait and see if it's caught in left field. But that scores Gonzalez and McCants. Graham ends up at third base. And That's a fair ball down the line. That'll get those two runs in. Graham will score first. Bench comes in second. That's another double for Dunhurst. And two more runs batted in. It's now four to two Rebels. Work by Dunhurst here just to get the head out. Left on left, fastball, center. 3-1 to Van Cleve. That hit him. Or that hit the bottom of the bat. I think I got. Yeah, I got it. Series. That one gets away from Rodriguez. He can't find it. High in the air, out to left. That ball is gone.
Well, this one's changed a little bit in the last 15 minutes, Mr. Neal. Yes, it Do nothing has. lead for Vandy coming into this, and Gail Baker's fourth home run of the year makes it an eight spot for Ole Miss here in the third inning. Fly ball to left, three run home run for Baker. Now eight of the nine Ole Miss is sent to the plate here in the third inning. Now RBIs on the year. McCants to the right side. That one gets past Keegan. The wheels are coming off right now for the Commodores. As that throw gets away for a moment. And McCants hustling down to second base. That ball is hammered deep to right. Say goodbye and add some more to the Rebels total. Number eight for Gonzalez. McCants at a leadoff spot, Gonzalez in a three hole today. Both the freshmen have scored two runs in this inning. Obviously, I'm well aware of Ben Sheets in his career. That ball's hit pretty hard to left. That'll be a base hit. That'll be a double for Thomas. Cole Wick smashes it through the left side. That'll get Thomas in to score. So a two out single makes it 10 3 now. Ground ball on the right side, base hit. Leatherwood. His throw was cut off, and they'll have him at the corner, so Lenev continues to swing a hot bat. Up and away, lost him, and now they are loaded. nicer than we are too because he threw it. Ball is hammered. Deep to right. Is it fair? Yes it is. Grand slam. Carter Young touch them all on the eighth pitch of that at bat. Get a ball game now, David. Just felt like he, he at some point, Young was going to make the change and threw him another break of ball. Didn't have as much top to bottom, had a little bit more side to side, and Young hammers another one. He can do this. That's a base hit through the left side on a 2 2 count. <laughs> the 3 0. That misses, and this has not been one of the better outings. That breaking ball is lifted in the air to the left, but caught there by Graham, and that'll do it. But a big inning for Vanderbilt. It, it resumes the things that we normally looked at as McCants laces this out to center. That'll drop right in front of Bradfield for a base hit. So I, I think, I, I guess I, I'm a little put. What is his position in the future? as he swipes another bag. Oh, that's a barrel. Base hit. Run scores. Now 11 to seven Rebels. Slow roller. Carter Young makes it look easy and the inning is over to Enrique Bradfield. First pitch he sees is a base knock. His second hit today. Out to center field, McCants makes the play. At a three. That ball is touched. Time for a shower in right field. Solo shot for Dunhurst. Wow. Hanging 
breaking ball right there, and Hayden Dunhurst hit it a mile to right. Watch the look on his face. Ooh, his mouth open, swiped like, wow, I just did that. That was me that just did it. I don't blame you, man. That is a no-doubter. Scott Kennedy gave him a little, a little encouragement to head down to first, and I'd take my time when I hit it that far, too. No doubter to right. Six home run of the year for Dunhurst, and tax on another one right here. They've now scored in back-to-back -back innings against Maldonado. Uh-oh now. That'll get them talking. Van Cleve not too happy. Maldonado. Round with two innings in the opener of this series. That ball is launched high in the air. Kevin Graham watches it sail out of here. Colwick with the sixth home run of the year. Not to mention his third hit today. You know, he's an interesting one for me, and Colwick will show you flashes of absolute brilliance. This ball is hammered, because that was not a deke by Kevin Graham out in left. Lays off that, and he will draw the walk. Runner goes, and Bradfield will be safely in there as Dunhurst couldn't field that pitch. Lifted in the air. Keegan, did he get enough of it? John Rice Plumley, who's in it right field, can't handle it. Gets it in in a hurry. That'll get a run in. And it's now 12 to 9 as Enrique Bradfield comes in from second base. Didn't miss it by much. No, this, this ball is smoked off the bat of Keegan. He's now struck out twice and has three hits. This is a, it's a really complete offense when you go top to bottom. And part of the completeness is guys can hit it out or hit it off the wall top to bottom. Keegan in the three spot. Got him. High fastball, 92 miles an hour. Runs for the Rebels. That one is hit high in the air. Did Gonzalez do it again? Yes! Thomas can't grab it. Have a day, Jacob Gonzalez. Just a freshman and doing absolutely everything in this lineup. Was in the leadoff spot before, now pushed down to the three hole. A few days ago, 33 pitches. There's a base knot for Dunhurst. That is his third hit today. Will it stay playable? Keegan. It is called dead ball. Yeah, they must have. They must have balked Murphy. It wasn't running off the field. I wasn't quite sure what happened. I think Scott Brown just got asked to leave. And the inning is over. Took a few extra pitches and cost him a pitching coach. Competitive pitch too often. That one gets away from Don Hurston. That'll be a strikeout, but touch Thomas 93 fastball. That's off the bottom of the wall. That'll be second and third now as Thomas just hammered it. Hammers that one high in the air out to center field. But Kansas is there to make the catch, but that'll get a run home. And it's 13 to 10. Sweeps or getting swept is what affect you the most in that win-loss column. And that slider. There's your ball game. 13-10 Rebels win it, and they win the series.